Be careful, this this film right here could be documented and be in the big screen someday. Yeah. <laughs> This one, you see some good detail down there in this tire that you don't see over here. So this is the uh, negative that I'm going to print. Well, in my definition, the fine art photographer is the individual that does work that pleases him or her and then markets it. Uh, as opposed to the commercial photographer, uh, they have to be prepared to photograph anything and everything. It's uh, something that is dictated to them. And uh, with the fine art photographer, he has the leisure to be able to do what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, when the conditions are appropriate. This is a variable contrast enlarger designed for printing on variable contrast paper. They say that in a few years there will no longer be graded paper, everything will be variable contrast, which makes it a lot easier for the manufacturer because they can just make one paper and that one paper will produce all of the contrast grades. The enlarger is controlled with this controller over here. You have, well, on variable contrast paper, there are two emulsion layers. One of them controlling or yielding your darker tones, which is the hard or uh, blue light, and the other is the soft or green light which controls your highlights. Now you can make prints by using a combination of both of these lights, but I prefer to print them separately. First I will print the shadows, and then I will print, after I've determined my exposure for my shadows, then I will lay over the top of that the uh, exposure for my my highlights and by doing it this way you maximize the tonality that's built into the uh, uh, paper itself. Now this up here is a timer and uh, with it you time the, the seconds that is required to make the exposure. I have the uh, negative in the enlarger what I'm making here is a work print. I'm not going to do any burning or dodging. This is just a print on RC paper to tell me what I have. And then I'm going to look at, at it for several days and uh, determine whether I want to carry the, the process another step uh, further by making a uh, fiber print. Well, I don't consider them fine art photographers, maybe fine art photographer wannabes. Uh, you know, it's just like an artist making a sketch on a canvas and uh, giving it to another artist and saying, here, fill in the colors, fill in the details. Uh, it's important going back to this zone system and the visualization and being able to carry your visualization through to your final print and how can you carry this visualization all the way through if somebody else is making the print for you. 
I think that it's uh, very fundamental that uh, a person that calls himself a fine art photographer does his or her own printing. I'm just going to make a test strip in one second intervals. One second, one more, some shadows where you're still seeing a little bit of detail and I think it's somewhere between here and here. Now this shadow area represents five seconds so I'm going to base my make my shadow exposure at five and a half seconds. Then I will lay over that exposure my highlight uh, test strip there's the dark exposure at five and a half seconds and looking down in here I'd like to see a little bit more separation so I'm going to take off that half second make my dark exposure for five seconds and then, uh, looking at this, I kind of think this is the best exposure. I've got some good highlights in there with a little bit of detail in them. Some specular highlights on this chrome here. And my first exposure was 10 seconds, and then the succeeding exposures were 5 seconds. So. 10, 15, 20, 25 seconds. So I'm going to use 5 and 25 seconds. The work print, it'll serve as a guide when I make a uh, final print. I see things that need to be done. Needs a little more contrast need to darken this area down here on the ground and with a little more contrast you'd see a little more uh, detail up there in these rocks and as I work on a final print I, I'll probably find other things that uh, need to be done to enhance it but as it is right now, it just uh, serves as a guide for a final print.